Hey guys, welcome to Design Tank. Uh, this is our third Design Tank. Um, I launched Design Tank to get the design community talking, uh, sharing a little bit vulnerably, also to kind of uh, open up those uh, business conversations that uh, we tend to kind of avoid. Now, there's some amazing people doing amazing work. Luan Nagara uh, with uh, Luan University is doing an amazing job focusing on business. Uh, you have several of the different trade associations that have different resources available. So get involved in all of that. But the idea of Design Tank was to just be able to leverage the community to get feedback on uh, things that you're considering. Maybe maybe you're a residential designer considering going commercial. Maybe you're exploring introducing a new product or service to your business. Maybe you're a textiles company and you're considering a new product line and you'd like some feedback. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're a rep within the industry who works for a company, but you're considering going multi-life. So uh, this is a spot to come present a concept, uh, maybe some idea that you're exploring. And before you dive in, in with time and money, um, this is the spot to come and get feedback from the design community. And I've always found that, that uh, the design, throwing concepts out to the community, you get such varied insights and feedback. So um, uh, hopefully while Melinda's on, we'll, be, uh, we'll have more people join in on the Zoom. Uh, but, um, also I do want to share, uh, to respect privacy. We do ask each person whether or not they would like to share this on publicly or they would like to keep it within the zoom. It's completely up to you. So if you're presenting and, or you're considering presenting and you're thinking, Hey, I don't want this out in the public. That's totally fine. Uh, it would it can stay within the safety and, and confines of the zoom call. Uh, if you would like it shared. We had on our first episode, we had Nick May share, and he said, no, go ahead and broadcast this on Facebook. He wanted it shared. He wanted to show other people that it could be shared, that it was safe to be shared, uh, but it is completely up to you. In this case, uh, today with Melinda, we're going to record it. Later on, she'll review it, and if she chooses to, it doesn't have to, uh, we can share it, or she can just review it for her own purposes, for self-improvement or what have you. So uh, I'm super excited to uh, have Melinda on uh, today to share about her me bag. Uh, and we have the website in the links in the descriptions and all the promos and the websites. So um, the uh, format for this is pretty simple. Melinda will have six minutes to present uh, about her product and her feedback. And she'll share with us, to begin with, she'll share with uh, what type of feedback she's looking for. And then she'll present and then we'll have about 20 minutes of feedback uh, and insights uh, for Melinda to, uh, to choose to take note of or uh, decide, you know, uh, if she's got this on her own. So, uh, Melinda, thank you so much for joining us in the design. Thank time. you. Thank you so much. I am so excited to be here. And it's always fun to share the me bag. Um, I um, have been working on this me bag for probably... 15 years now. <laughs> it's something that was kind of a brainchild to myself in the middle of the night, um, trying to figure out how to solve some problems um, for myself, um, which I'll get into pretty much um, in the presentation as to why, how it happened and, and how this came to be. Um, what kind of feedback am I looking for? I think that I need help figuring out how to market the bag and who I should um, present this to. I've been to the Design Influencers Conference and did a, bo a booth and I did the I, um, window coverings show in Cincinnati last year and had a booth there. So um, it's very hard. It's a, it's a product that's in a uh, area by itself. There's nothing else like it. So it's not something that is very easy to figure out like exactly where it needs to go, um, who needs to see it. And, you know, I've done the Facebook page and I've done an, a um, website and I am, you know, I need some help getting the word out. So that's basically where it comes down to. So 
All right. So do you want me to go ahead and start, Joseph? My official. Yeah. Okay. So now we got our thinking caps on and feel free to share with us the details. Okay, great. All right, guys. Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you're calling, where you're joining from. I'm Melinda Elliott. I'm a fellow interior designer and the proud inventor of the Me Bag, a game changing product that is going to revolutionize your out of the office appointments. Let's face it, we have unique challenges as interior designers, carrying around and lugging samples and tools to all of our appointments. How many times have you arrived at your appointment ready to impress, not to realize that you had taken your measuring tape out of your bag about a week ago and didn't get it back in and you are at the client's house and you need to measure for furniture. Well, that is the situation that I kept finding myself in. And it is very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing as a professional that I wouldn't have my tools and my samples and be organized and ready to go for each appointment. So that's where the birth of this bag take, took place. I was trying to solve a situation for myself to make myself look more professional, more organized. And I have the ultimate solution. After years, like I said, 15 years of figuring out what what I needed, what I needed to take to each appointment, how those items were all going to be organized in a manner that I could find them very quickly. And I designed the ultimate solution. It's called the Me Bag. It is designed by me, Melinda Elliott. That's what M-E stands for. And it is truly a game changer. I have found that over the last uh, five years when I've had my bag, that I would go to a client's house and they would ask me for paint samples when I was there to measure for window treatments. I would go to an appointment and I would need to take a note about you know the size of the window or the size of the room for measuring for carpet. I would not have my measuring tape. So what I did was I designed the bag that would have specific pockets and sleeves and places to put things that I would need possibly and maybe not, but I might need them. So I, and I took the bag and I deconstructed it and I made it into uh, kind of like you would call a Mary Poppins bag for interior designers, so to speak. Um, it's a magnificent creation and it has had amazing reviews and people just love it because you can actually put your favorite resources inside the bag. And in a minute, I will explain to you all of the different parts and pieces of this um, and show you through the bag, so to speak. It is functional. It is a way to set you, yourself apart from other designers who are showing up to appointments that are not prepared. It really does impress the customers that you are truly organized. And as a designer, I think that we need to have ways that set us apart from other, other designers. Um, and, you know, you need anything you can get to, to figure that out. So if you come prepared to your appointment, you're probably going to sell more because you have all the resources you need. So basically the advantages of my bag, this is the me bag. It is, this is my own me bag. I have filled it and put all kinds of things in it. It is a heavy duty nylon. You can beat this thing up, throw it in the car. I keep mine in the car all the time. This has over 50 pockets throughout this whole thing, but you would never know, would you? This is the perfect size for an airline as well. It's the biggest size bag that you can carry on. I have heavy duty rounded handles. I've got the zipper that is heavy duty that goes all the way around and totally opens up the bag. So you can have all of your tools ready to go for all the appointments. It's hard to, for me to show all of the details of this, but I have, like, again, I filled this bag with things that I need when I go to my appointments. So we have hidden pockets throughout. 
you have a, um, different places for measuring devices, pens, pencils. Um, I have tools for going around corners. I have business cards um, that are in a sleeve here. Um, I have paper clips, post-it notes. I have tape lining samples. I have zipper colors. I have a chart that tells me a stack back for our draperies. And again, this is what I need at my appointments. The center section is a section of straps that you can strap in as many paint decks as you can get. I've got, I've even used uh, this for drapery hardware, poles and finials. So that is that page. This is the page that has the pockets that are elastic. And inside these elastic, I have things like um, lining samples. I have drapery hardware catalogs. I have just all kinds of different things that, you know, the client might say, hey, I need a window treatment, but you're there for a paint consultation. So what do you do? You go to your me bag. You have it pre-packed with all your favorite vendors. This is the last page. And it is hard for me to show you, but I have tools in here, furniture sliders. I've got hammers and nails. I've got a grout chart because I always forget the grout chart. Um, I have in the back, I have a place that I can put my iPad or a laptop computer. But in this one, I have like rug pad samples. I've got wallpaper swatches. So basically all of this houses in this one bag that zips up and stays with you at all times. You keep it in your car. You have a, like I said, a heavy duty zipper that <laughs> completely opens up totally on your client's table. There are no wheels or anything on this, so it's not dirty or disgusting. <laughs> you can personalize your bag with your own logo. You can just put a patch over top of this. Um, I put this like scarf on the handle. So um, it looks a more designer -y type of look. It's um, nothing. It is just one of those things that you, I don't know how people do it without it because all of the bags, the tote bags or whatever that people have, I mean, it looks like a mess inside. And I'm sure over time that it's, it is one of those things that this will pay for itself, probably in the first appointment. So it's a one-time investment. It's $249. We have them in stock. Um, it's going to be one of those things that you are not going to... Uh, disappearing items, um, disorganization, when you are in the field, people, this is going to set you apart. And you are going to... You really are going to thank me because trust me, this is a one of a kind product. There's nothing else like it on the market. And I am very proud of it. And I'm very excited to share it with the world. So that's, that's the me bag. That was a wonderful presentation. Linda. Uh, I, I love you. It was amazing when you unzipped it, just how much was in there. So, yeah. um, so now for our, um, our, uh, people have joined in on the Zoom. Uh, and then later, again, Melinda, if she just uh, decides to share this, um, then post comments later on uh, and give feedback. Uh, Melinda, just again for everybody, the type of feedback that you were looking for. How can I get the word out about this? Um, and, at, at, and how? I, I, I don't know whether it's Facebook groups. Um, I have... I mean, anybody that I have um, sold one of these bags to are just, they are just loving it. But, you know, I've got somebody in Colorado, I, you know, it's like one or two people in like every state. And it's very hard, you know, to, to spread the word, even with social media on a product like this, it is one of those things that I don't think people understand how valuable it is and how much like add on sales that I've actually gained because I had all of my resources. It's something that's hard to um, get the word out about that how important organization is. So 
I, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of get the feedback started, uh, and then we can open it up. Uh, so, guys that are on the Zoom call, if you guys want to just pop on and then uh, give uh, ask clarifying questions, insights, or feedback, uh, I'll start by sharing. Um, so, I met the founder of Santa Cruz Backpacks, uh, and and he grew up. His mom taught him to sew, and in college, his backpack would rip, so he would fix his backpack. Uh, and this was back, he was using more of a, a, a mailman's pouch, not necessarily a backpack. Uh, so he came up with this double strap idea. And, um, and, uh, he, he, other students started asking for him. So he quickly started making these in his dorm. Uh, later he would, uh, and he's been in a bunch of podcasts talking about this. Uh, he met his future wife who their first date was sitting in his dorm. Uh, making backpacks. And for, for the next 10 or 12 years, that was pretty much their life. It was just sustaining them. They would sew and they loved sewing. Uh, and it was just them. Uh, later they would try to scale. They would try, they actually opened up in Colorado. They had a, a factory that they bought. Um, and later they tried to manufacture in Indonesia. It was ultimately the Santa Cruz brand name that was sellable. And they sold to, I forget which brand it was, for something like one point something billion dollars. The founder said that they never made a billion dollars selling backpacks. Uh, it wasn't the backpack that sold. It was the brand name. Uh, and so uh, that's where they actually cashed out. Um, so um, my feedback would be, one, uh, if we do share this, the, the vital part to his success was that the college campus bought in. And so I would love to see the design community support the design community by, uh, helping out. Uh, whether it's a, a company, uh, giving you some sort of a grant to offset the cost, something. Uh, but the, the best way for things like this to happen is if the community comes in and we support. So my plea and yeah. my feedback isn't for you. My plea and feedback would be for the design community at large that we support the design community because that's, that's ultimately how that company ended up becoming successful was, uh, local support. I'm going to open it up to anybody, uh, any of the people tuning in on the Zoom call. If you'd like to offer up, uh, feedback and insights. I have, um, there's a question. Um, she asked how heavy this baby is. Um, this is, it can get heavy and I'm not going to say that it's not, but let me, um, show you something that I came up with. So, I mean, I, I can lift it, but I did not talk about the shoulder strap that I have added for this with a pad. So, basically can I hold on to the handle and the shoulder strap and I go in and out I also have this cart it's a wheelie cart so and I don't know if you can see the strap here so it's like a luggage strap and you just throw this on top of here and then you can wheel it in and out so that has been a lifesaver a lot of times I'll, I'll wheel this into the appointment and then I just keep it there on the ground. And then if I need to get it out, then I will pull it off the cart, take it to their table and I open it up. Now, your experience with the bag opening up, you know, it's like, oh, what do you think the client did? I mean, the clients are just like, wow, <laughs> you have everything. So, and I hear it over and over and over again. So it's kind of cool. Um, but yes, it can get heavy depending on how much you put in it, but it's so worth it. It's, I mean, the, the benefit definitely outweighs the disadvantage of the weight of it, but I literally can handle it. Um, I am in my mid fifties. Um, so I'm not a young pup. I'm, I don't go to the gym all the time. Um, so it is, I mean, if you're hauling around wallpaper books and tile samples, you have had to build up some muscles anyway. <laughs> so 
what's the difference? <laughs> but I, you're going to add on sales. I'm going to tell you that right now. So that is that is the worth every weight, every pound that is in that bag. <laughs> uh, Ed did. Oops. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. go ahead. Uh, Ed, Ed. Oh, there we go. Hi, Megan. Hi. I just wanted to piggyback off of your um, comment, Joseph, about getting grants to offset the cost. So the first thing that came to mind when I saw the inside of the bag was, this reminds me of my most favorite drafting bag ever, which was gifted to me from Benjamin Moore. Wow. And I used it all through interior design school. And so this is like that bag on steroids. <laughs> so I also thought you should be showing this bag to uh, manufacturers of highly prolific CSI code category products. So um, flooring, wall coverings, paint, um, and see if they might want to put their logos on them and give them to their reps or yeah. do a giveaway, mm -hmm. a designer giveaway. Um, yeah. And I know That's it's a good idea. the ME bag, but i I think it should be called the ML bag, like the materials librarian bag, because oh. you have like a whole freaking materials library inside. <laughs> bag. That's a great idea. <laughs> I love that. I would have never thought about that. Thank you, Megan. And Ed did, Ed did ask about the, um, the cart. Did that come with the bag or are these accessories? The, the card is an add-on expense. I don't sell it, you know, but I do have them available to sell. So, um, and it actually has this extended handle um, and it's a very wide platform base with the four spinning wheels. And to piggyback on Megan's, um, wait, is that Ed? Were you going in or was that, was that Dan in the background? Nope, that's not Danny. That's no. Okay. Oh, uh, so uh, to piggyback on Megan's uh, comment too, uh, um, so would this could this be customizable? How hard would it be for people to customize this for their own brand, uh, so that a designer could walk in front of with their own branding on? Well, you know, this is a front pocket that is just very thin. Um, so if somebody had a machine, they could, you know, probably sew a patch onto that. Um, I did get the, some of the bags not to have the ME on it. So those are, that would be a nut, the next order that I would do. It's just to remove that altogether. Um, so, you know, and the other people have done different straps. They can, do, you can cover you can paint these bags with fusion mineral paint, um, putting whatever colors you want on them. You could design, you know, something on the front. It's, you know, you have a, a nylon bag that's black. So it's very easy to style it any way anybody wants. Now, um, your question to you was how, uh, about marketing. Um, so kind of getting back to the question of marketing, uh, and I've reached out to several manufacturers kind of along Megan's line, kind of piggyback in on Megan's feedback too, was, uh, in, in approaching them to say like, Hey, this is a great thing to give to, uh, to, to buy in bulk and give out. We go to a market all the time and they hand out those, 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 um, tote bags. And those are awesome. And I don't know who this tote bag company is, but they, they score. Um, yeah. you know, uh, and I'm going to take a guess here and I'm going to assume that that tote bag company 
is not a company that's related to the design industry. They were just some right. sales rep that stumbled in and scored. And now we all go to market and we all leave with these tote bags. Um, yep. And cool, that has zero to do with the design industry. Uh, yeah. So uh, uh, piggybacking on Megan's and uh, if people watch this and I'll continue to reach out to companies. But I think that, again, showing support for the design industry, uh, uh, I would love to see uh, and more or, uh, you know, Korean company or Surya uh, sponsor these by buying in bulk and making these available. Yep, I agree. That's a great idea. I also um, pitched it to um, like a fabric company because fabric companies have like fabric swatches, rod hardware, you know, anything that, you know, they would want to get out into into the world so to speak but having it in an organized i mean it can be this is her fabric cut you know this is my fabric cut bag so and i've actually i've used this bag i've i've stuffed it different ways so i have one whole bag just for installations i have one whole bag that's just window treatments i have one whole bag that's my interior design i have a whole bag that is full of wine bottles, um, drinking things. <laughs> yeah, it goes on and on. You could use them for so many different things. <laughs> it sounds like a, the Neocon survival kit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the wine in it and the drink. Yes, a hundred percent. Um, oh. so, um, I missed uh, my computer died i had to plug it in sorry for that Aww, you're um fine. so the inside are those compartments are they like um uh, can you pull those out or um or is it like the bag is made and the bag is made yep the bag was made with you know all of the pages inside they're all stuck in there um that's one thing that um if i were to go through another process of orders um, someone had mentioned to put like some kind of a rem like the pages to be removable so that I could um, they could pack the bag with the pages that they need, so to speak. The yeah. only problem with that is that the way that you would attach that at the bottom would be a little bit complicated in order to like, does it snap in? Does it zip in? You know, how would you add the pages? So I'm sure I could figure that out. But the way that I, I made my bag was basically I took all of the things that I needed and then I put, I played around with pockets and stuff. Each page is extremely sturdy because we also found that without the sturdiness of that page, those pages would flip and flop and bend. Um, and it was terrible. So I've got really sturdy pages in here too. And Keeping the structure like was very important to me. I, I didn't want my bag to flop, you know, when I put it down. I one of my prototypes, it looked like this, you know. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that it was structured the whole way through. So that's one of the things that um but there's so many different pockets and different ways that that i've put them all together that it's pretty flexible in general for whoever's using it yeah so um i had so i had a girl buy one of these for um makeup she filled the whole thing up with makeup and hair stuff so and she takes it to weddings yeah it's a different industry so uh, um a little background about me uh joe knows mm -hmm. when you would see me at markets. I would. Uh, I was a had a fabric company I worked with. I was like the director um, of sales, and um, I had sales reps. So every sales rep drags, you know, their line bag with them uh, all the time, filled with all kinds of stuff. I also worked in the concert industry at one time, and really, when you were on tour with a band, you had to have everything you need. Um, with you, mm -hmm. so that is uh, you'd I'd have used to have this old suitcase that just had old lunch boxes in it that were like sectional, 
before, you know, Sterilite and all those little plastic containers, lunch boxes were the thing. So, um, you know, it was compartmentalizing product. So it's very useful to multiple industries. And I see it as a mobile office. Um, mm -hmm. I definitely think that um, how to sell it. Um, I would really like go at the like ASID, AS, um, ASD, the um, ICFA, like the, the organizations that are, um, you know, peer groups for designers, furniture industry uh, folks, et cetera, because they're going to, um, once you can get them young, like college campuses, college bookstores type of thing, mm -hmm. like uh, once you break into the college bookstore network, you know, even in like your local university where you're at, and then say, I'm in this bookstore, um, you can often find that um, other bookstore will pick that up because you're just in one bookstore. Um, you know, you can even customize it to uh, like if they're going to make it on their own or you're going to have a like a order limit of 100, you know, if they could be made to the college colors, et cetera, you know, beyond the college logos on like a like a more uh, down the line type of thing. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I definitely think that that is um, kids, you know, they're spending 250 bucks on one book. So mm -hmm. have a bag that they uh, carry all their stuff with is a, a great thing. Um, I think um, talking to the sales reps and the line reps um, at these types of events um, are really, um, and then also those manufacturers that have those line reps, um, you know, Sombrella used to, we would uh, like, they make stuff constantly, you know? Um, so mm -hmm. it's something that, you know, uh, like, uh, can be made uh, to those specs for those reps, particularly yeah. um, as mm -hmm. well. Um, so the idea of having the like, and that goes back to the idea of like the brand, the me bag, you know, idea is that, um, you know, it's, it's building that brand as being the, this is a, like a bag that will fit all your stuff, you know, and is a solution. People want solutions to things. You know, that's the number one way you sell stuff is offering the customer a solution to a problem. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, selling it as that, as a solution, the Mary Poppins uh, statement, um, although may come off as off the cuff, is definitely um, like that explains it all, you know. Like, yeah. uh, think about like Hermione's bag from Harry Potter, where she just like could pull out, you know, a whole tent and a cooking set. You know, it's kind <laughs> of reminds you of that uh, modern day. If kids don't understand who Mary Poppins is, you could probably say something about Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. They would all yeah. understand it. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, like, you know, time is money. So, you know, if you are, um, have all the things that you need at your fingertips, then that's great, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Great advice. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank you all so much. Well, I know, Melinda, you got uh, a, a, a hard stop, so uh, do you want to be respectful of that? Um, I wanted to thank all of you guys for joining in. Um, my kind of parting thoughts on this is I would, I would love to see this is, we've seen this happen in other industries. Uh, it, in my videography side of things, you go to B and H and they have backpacks for camera usage. Uh, um, I travel. Um, and so you've got, you know, backpacks for backpacking, uh, and they've got a 20 liter, 40 liter, 60 liter, whatever. Um, uh, you've got camel packs that carry just water. You've got backpacks that roll and seal for like wakeboarding and paddleboarding. So it's not unheard of that we would create a, a bag specifically for an industry. Uh, I would say we need, uh, industry adoption. And again, I'll, I'll sh keep shouting this one from the mountain. Um, 
that the industry, uh, even if things are unaffordable, I'll tell you, I paid $650 for a, uh, a camera backpack, you know? So, mm -hmm. uh, it, even if things are, that part's not the thing. I think that we need to support more, uh, ideation and more initiatives from within the design industry and so, show support of our community. Uh, Melinda, 100%. thank you so much 100%. for presenting. I'll shoot you the video. Let us know what you'd like to do with it. If you'd just like to review it, that's totally fine. Guys, um, uh, for, uh, uh, for Megan and for Ed for joining in. Thank you guys so much thank for supporting you. us thank as you. well. The whole concept here is community driven, community based so that we can support things from within the design community. Uh, I do want to give a quick shout out. I am in Playa del Carmen and, uh, I'm at a cute little design firm, uh, here in Playa called Casona. Uh, they have a little furniture showroom. Uh, this is why I'm sweating. It is so humid and hot in Playa, but these guys were super nice to let me sit in their, in their space. I would do want to flip the camera around real quickly and just show you guys, uh, the cute little layout. This is the design, uh, office studio right here. Uh, this is a shared outdoor patio that they share with this cute little coffee shop. Uh, and then here is their design showroom. I'll spin that around quickly. How um, fun. Sweet. Yeah. That's so, awesome. I love the background. I was wondering where you were. I yeah. Uh, and and again, cool. this is the design community coming together to support the design community. And any time and every time we can do that, uh, I highly encourage it. So um, thank Absolutely. you guys so much. This is a bi-weekly event. We are looking for more presenters. So if you have an idea, a concept, maybe you've got something out there and you want feedback on, maybe you're introducing something new, you'd like feedback and insights, feel free to join in. Uh, Melinda, thank you again for sharing. Uh, and guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. It was so nice to meet you, Melinda. Good luck. Nice to Thank meet you, you too. Joseph. This was so much fun. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. All right. Safe journey. Thanks. Bye. 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 Look, Mom. I made that.